Elizabeth. Elizabeth, hurry up with that. Wrap it to in an hour. Here you are, Mr. Porter. Oh, Elizabeth. Must be you so clumsy. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, just, it's been a really long day. Yeah, it has been. It will be even longer if you don't hurry up with that. You know how this writer gets if the magazine is on the schedule. If the knicker booker is even one day late, they will have my head. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. And I will be, I will be uh, back in a dip with your teeth. Yes. Okay. What a mess that girl. Sometimes I swear I don't know what I hire. She's clumsy, she's late. She's way too cheerful, that girl. I don't know why the girl, her tea is soft, her spelling atrocious. The girl, the girl. <sighs> two minutes to convince me that this riddle is a valuable addition to my addition to my magazine. Okay, thank you, Mr. Clark. Yes, after I explain it, you will understand, like it better. <laughs> I promise. Okay, you see, it all started on Monday morning. I was running a little bit late. You're always running late. Anyways, I was coming down 45th, between Broadway and 6th, I think, when this thing suddenly appeared out of nowhere ran across the road, nearly tripping me. It doesn't take too much to do that. This thing blurred. I could not see. Ran right in front of me. What was I to do? Would it cause my slip? Would it interrupt my morning trip? Oh, when I looked to see what had startled me, all that was there was a little chicken. A chicken? A chicken had crossed the road. I began to contemplate. Where was he going? Was he late? Why would a chicken cross the road? That makes no sense. Exactly! Why did the chicken cross the road? Ah, uh, yeah. The people, they answered. The butcher, he said, to avoid my knife. The husband, he said, to leave to the wife. The grocer, he said, to get to the grain. The baker, he said, just to be a pain. And the maid, she said, to see what it's like. And the worker, he said, going on strike. And the poet, he said, well, I don't know why. And you know, neither did I. Why did the chicken cross the road? Where could it possibly go? The carpenter said to get a pint. The, the wife, she said, he got a fright. Oh, but then the artist, oh, he was bright. A great idea he had. What if, what if it crossed the road to get to the other side? Well, I thought and thought and decided that this 
Mr. Reed's conundrum, maybe just like, make a good riddle. I'll see if they'll like it. Oh, Mr. Clark. Yes? You have to take this riddle, please. What? This riddle doesn't work. Why? Why doesn't it work? Yes. It's just a riddle. But it reminds me too of, of a song. But it's a bit. Really it's a bit. You're so young, so new in this world. Uh, but don't fret. You'll grow, you'll learn, you'll understand. You will see that this world, this place we live is hard to understand. But you shall see, you shall see. You will know what it's like to learn about different things, to be a scholar. And it's a privilege to learn to learn to understand. To be a scholar, isn't it? Yes, and that's what I want to know. What do you want to know, my child? Well, I want to know everything. <laughs> well, I can tell you, but there's no time. I must return to my work. OK, wait, wait. There's one more thing I want to say about the riddle. All right, one thing. I still don't like it, though. But I was thinking just now, what if, well, what if the chicken is? What if it's like everything? What do you mean, child? I mean, what if the chicken crossing the road is like everything? Same as the reason we do anything. Like why we print a magazine every month? Uh, we print the magazine because people read. But is that really why? I mean, why do people read? Why do we do anything? What if the chicken crossed the road just because others did before him? Just because that was all he knew how to do? What if the chicken did it just to fill his time? Uh, are you suggesting that this riddle is aching to the great question of the universe? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what is the great question of the universe? For what purpose do we do things? Uh, the thing we do throughout our life, the meaning of life. Well then, yes, I guess I am. Polish. What? I still don't like it. Okay. Come up with another one for the next month, and we will see. Yes, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Now. Where was I? Oh, yes. Yeah. The chicken that crossed the road. A riddle by Lewis Clark. <laughs>